Welcome back to another Construct video, and in this video, Super Mario Galaxy. So we're going to start by looking at the map itself. What I've done is I've put a planet down, a player, and these blocks. Now these blocks, I've had to sit and rotate them manually to get them to the position that I want, and then I've just put them behind the planet. Now I've also got a second example, which is just a much smaller example for you to see. And this is just what happens if I go onto a small planet. You can see I can jump, I can rotate about, and I can go the opposite way as well. So you can see it really works for any planet size. The only thing this tutorial can't do at the moment is multiple planets of so being able to jump from one planet to another. So I'm still working out. So maybe a future tutorial will get that figured out. So let's see how we can actually program this now. We'll start with the planet. If I edit behaviors, it's got the solid behavior on it. Now I could take this off and it'll act more like a black hole. I've done solid so I can actually stand on the planet. For the platforms, these also have the solid behavior so we can stand on them. And then for the player, we've got both the platform and the scroll to behavior. Nothing too exciting at this stage. We're then going to go to our event sheets and we're going to go down to system and every tick. This is the only condition that we need to get this code working. I'm just going to add an action and we're going to start with our player. We need to add two actions to our player. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to actually set the angle of gravity. Now in order to do this, what we need to do is we need to use a function called angle. And this works out the angle between two points. So the first one is going to be player.x. We're going to press comma. We're going to do player.y. We're going to do comma. We're now going to do the planet.x comma and planet.y. This will calculate the angle between those two positions, showing us what angle of gravity we need to have. Now before we press done, what we're going to do is highlight all this code and copy it, because we're going to use this code two more times in slightly different places. So hit done. Next we're going to add another action, we're going to go to our player, and now we want to set the angle of the player, so the player is rotated the same direction as the planet. For this we're going to copy and paste in our code before, but this time we're going to minus 90 and hit done. Finally we're going to add an action and we want to go to system this time. We're going to use an option that you might not be aware is in construct but we can actually set the layout angle. So this will rotate all of our objects in there to match our player. So we're just going to control V once more and also minus 90. So the other objects are rotating at the same time to give the illusion that we're moving around the planet. And that is it for our code. So again we've got example A here. I can hit play and now I can move around the planet and as I rotate it will rotate with me and I can jump up here and I can get a big jump and try and get around part of the planet a bit easier. On example B I've just got a planet I can spin round and it's nice and simple. So this code will be available as always in the description. Finally I just want to say a thank you as well to the example browser and this example on here. It doesn't say who's made this example unfortunately but this is what this tutorial is based on and this would not be possible without this code that was provided. So just want to give credit to that as well. You can try it if you go into the example browser. But that's going to be it for today. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.